So today, we're gonna do some more shape problems, uh, just like last week. And I think what I want you to do, um, I want you guys to take, actually, I'm gonna give you guys, say about 10-ish minutes. Um, if you guys could either just sort of copy the board position down with your partner here, and uh, there's four problems. I did try to set them up in a way such they would both inter not interfere and support each other. Um, they are all black to play. I know that white has more stones than black, but again, they are all black to play, so that kind of makes sense. Like black gets like one move in each corner, I guess, sort of thing is how it'll work out. Um, and something I really, you know, there are a couple themes to these problems, okay, and I'll, I'll point out to you. Uh, one of the themes is sacrificing stones. Okay, we're gonna talk more about, or, or say focus more of our attention on when to sacrifice stones to make shape for yourself. Um, one of the other, excuse me, themes is making sure your stones are safe. Right? What does stone safety mean? How do they become unsafe? Uh, making eye shape or making sure we get access to the center to be able to run away. Um, so we'll do two sets of these. I've got four problems on this board, four problems on another board. Um, to give you guys about 10 minutes to try to do each one, each board, and then uh, we'll talk about it together. Sound good? All right. This, right? All right, guys, let's let's see how we did. You guys are no longer excited for these. We're confused. We're <laughs> confused. Okay, we'll take it one at a time. I saw lots of good stuff, actually. A lot of you guys are finding right, right. some correct sequences. Let's start with this one, because this one is most similar to what we did last week. Um, what's Black's problem? Connection. A connection problem, right? We have weak two stones over here, weak three stones over here. Complicating the problem is we have a strong white group here, we have a strong white group here. If white gets to attack this all day long, white wins the game, right? Yeah. Don't want to get attacked. So we need to find a way to connect. We, that, we talked about that, that triple knight jump last week. Do you guys remember that? We talked about how it was terrible and you could break it and it was bad. Except where? Maybe close to the edge. Yeah, except close to the edge, right? The second line, right? Knight's jump, knight's jump. Ooh. Right, usually we don't want to do that, but when it's on the second line, it often works. It works beautifully. How does white break this? He doesn't. He doesn't, in a word. But if white goes there, how does white try to break this? Block on the right. David? I don't think you want to do What's that. What's the one? problem, David? Uh, if white on is now, yeah. you can't cut. Uh, uh, you have to play no, you have to play over. White has yeah. to play 14. That one, yeah. Actually, no, it's gonna go. Okay, so play 62. <laughs> this way, very good. Yeah. So if white plays here, you have to pull back. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, right. So yeah, he still can't connect. connect. Okay. If white tries to cut, the stone can't, doesn't have enough liberties to run anywhere, right? You only get two liberties, it's not enough. White can push, but again, black has too many liberties. So, that's sweet. So we have, have to connect, have to look at that nice jump, nice jump. Can we play this? No, we no. figured that out. No, we figured that out the yeah. hard way, huh? <laughs> uh, even a little. Easy, you're making it super easy for yeah. white, right? Black's like, I'm connected. No, you're not. That's when white smiles and says, see you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> right? Total failure. Okay. Yeah, I, told me, I told me you didn't get this problem because I mistook what the problem is. Oh, what did you think the problem was? I wasn't looking at, I got two black subgroups that need to connect. I was looking like, well, how can I split up white? <laughs> 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 you can't. I was getting close. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Trying to split that's here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to split this. Yeah. Well, one of the things you could maybe do is as you go down, you you. you you carve that one white stone away. Yeah, go to the center. They go. Yeah, drop down. Not that one. Just drop down on sixteen five. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Like this. But, yeah, it doesn't work. So. <laughs> <laughs> you voluntarily made an empty triangle, John. Yeah, I know you missed the beginning of last there. week. So I, I backed up. I backed up from that option. Real empty fast. triangle's bad. All right. Good. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you notice how your life becomes so much easier if you just connect these two groups. You get eye space. You get a connection. 
And you can actually, if this one's strong, you can come out here and maybe even attack white later on if you get strong over here too. So connection, eye shape, future possibilities, it's all good. Speaking of empty triangles, let's talk about this one. I know some of you guys tried some variations with some empty triangles in it. What do you guys try for this one? Top left, what did you, what did you get? Wait, 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 wait. Speaking of empty triangles, are you implying 3-3 three, three is the answer? I am not implying 3-3 three, three is the okay. answer. <laughs> we went with 4-2. Okay. 4-2, all right, That's, this, is, this is a pretty good move. If you find this move, it's pretty good. It's not the right move. <laughs> because the group right next to you at, at your table found a counter move for white. Oh yeah? Yeah, show us the To be fair, Nick showed me something similar last time. Uh, two, four seems to be the strongest response. This is a pretty nice move. Huh, did not see that. This is a pretty cool to see. So if you're, if you're just looking at the problem, you're reading black, and you're going, hey, actually, I, I, you know, I can't do this. Why can't we do that? Why can't we be greedy? And what I do there is, why can you just push? Yeah, white just says, eh. Yeah, yeah. And then you say, I'm, I'm connected. I'm connected. And white says, nah, 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 nah. Right, I eat your stone. Didn't, didn't go there. Didn't do that. OK, good. So they said this, though. Yeah. But that's what we said. Oh, you guys said, we said, we said this, this is the best we came up with. This is a very cool counter to Sushi. And I see. This is very like cool. Three, three. Three. Seems like the obvious response for Vlad. So John just wants to make eyes. Yeah, sure. John's such a nice guy. <laughs> actually, there's two different ways we could play, depending on how severely we want to kill White. I think this is actually might be even better now that I'm looking at it. I, know I, I think I played, if, if, we're, if we're more worried about this group's safety, right, if, if Black's strong over here, we can play this variation. Right, so does black have two eyes yet? No. Not yet, actually, it turns out, because white has this really annoying move, as you guys also discovered. Yes. Right, you can take that whole thing down to one eye. So black has to, if black just wants to live, black has to live in Gote. Living in Gote is probably not, I mean, giving, giving our opponent life in Sente while taking life in Gote for ourselves is probably not good enough. We can do better. Um, the other way white can play this is if white just pulls back here, oops, there's a stone here, black still doesn't have two eyes. And if black tries to make two eyes this way, there's actually this problem here where white can turn one false instantaneously. You guys see this? All right, black connects. Now, problem? All right, white can just profit and attack. So, This descent doesn't work because of this attachment. Right, we only get one eye, and we're surrounded by white stones. If you only have one eye and you're surrounded by white stones, bad news bears. We need to find a better way. How about the other descent? The other descent. Tom, I think this is a very, very bad idea. Who can show Tom <laughs> why this is a bad idea? <laughs> Before four four. Uh, what? Four, four, four. Before four, four, four. You, should, you should play it before four four. Oh. The uh, honey. Uh, yeah, honey. Oh yeah, yeah, we tried this. This one yeah, first. This one. Yeah. It's important you do this one first. So when you push in, it's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Because can black block you? Not really. <laughs> can black try? Sure, he can try. And now four four, because now your four four is Atari. So black says, well, I want to connect. And white says, that's great. I eat dinner tonight. Yeah. Oops, that's there. So, Tom, how did that descent go for you? <laughs> I just wanted to descend because so many of the moves we tried were diagonals that got abused. So many of the moves you try her diagonals got to be used. That's right. You have there's there's some really powerful moves here, right? Um, you know, we talked last week about two stones are always connected, but two stones diagonal to two stones diagonal are not connected, right? If white has a stone here, because white can just sort of push in between and threaten to cut one side or the other, it gives black a lot of problems. Surprisingly, number <laughs> of problems. Let's see. So we need to find a move that A, 
prevents this cut from ever turning any, into anything, B, and B uh, creates enough eye shape for us to live, and C puts a little more pressure on this screw, so we get something out of our move. So I thought I had a neat idea, but I don't think it puts pressure on that group. It's probably not the right one. But in the category of just crazy enough to work, two two. Two two. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happens here? <laughs> uh, the same problem. Doesn't <laughs> actually fix it. Yeah, no, I guess it doesn't. I'm gonna show you, I don't think anyone got this. I don't, I don't think I saw anyone find the right answer because the right answer is really counterintuitive. Um, it's not 4 4. One it's 4. <laughs> well, does this put in any pressure on this group? No. No. Okay. So, not making good. sure. It's not, not good. Okay, it's not that counterintuitive. What if you just connect? <laughs> Which one? Uh, right on top of the two stones. Yeah. On top there. That's the move. That's, That's it? Move. That's it. Mm -hmm. Well, we discarded. Now, now, the reason it's an empty triangle, right? The correct move: make an empty triangle. I gave you this problem specifically because it should violate your religion, right? It should <laughs> but, make you feel very uncomfortable. But they can jump in there and mess around with your corner. You're Ow. still not alive, right? Ow! No, we're alive now. Okay. <laughs> so we're done. Was, we're alive. So if white goes okay. four two, yeah, four two. Don't care. Good for white. Good job, white. Okay, now White comes in and does the Atari. Okay, good job, White. Okay, and now we look pretty good. Start to look pretty live, right? Yeah. Mm. White, I mean, at some point has to connect. And uh, I'm actually not sure what the best way to live here is, but I think it's as simple as just doing that. So, really counterintuitive problem. I gave this one to you just because I wanted to mess with you. <laughs> so what nice. about three, two for black? Which one? That one. Yeah. Uh, I think this has the same problem with this move, though. Actually, if, yeah, if black comes under two, five, then that's bad. Yeah, i there. Okay, we yeah, 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 yeah. And we tried playing um, two, the, three. The response I asked was, yeah, was two, three. I think this Here? Yeah. was moderately okay, but not actually. Ooh, so this, first of all, this group got stronger. Yeah. Five, two, five, two. It's, and now you want to do five, two? Oh, yeah, yeah. And so the fact that white pokes in at four, four, and you connect it three to five. All side. It, doesn't, All side. it doesn't matter because you got eyes on top. Okay, now five to one. Don't you have eyes besides the fault side? But you lived in Gote and made white sweet group stronger. Oh, okay, well. Well, we lived. <laughs> so, you lived. <laughs> that is good. But we definitely didn't injure this group. We made it stronger. So, I think the empty triangle result was actually a much better result for black, right? Also, Gote lives and uh, actually puts some pressure over here. Takes all those defects away. All right, I want to do this one next. Uh, this one, I saw a couple of you guys get pretty much 100% correct. It took you a few tries, but you got it. What's the problem here for black? Yeah, these two stones are going to die. Well, it looks to me like those two stones are dead, and so the problem that Black's really worried about, uh, if Black worries about those, it's nothing, but the problem that Black really ought to be worried about is white comes up, connects to that white stone, and sucks out the middle. Yeah, so that's a real problem, right? If white ever gets this move, yeah, it's we like, got problems. oh gosh, right? Our wall's no longer useful, this stone's get cut, it's in between two strong yeah. positions, yeah. lots of problems uh, for Black. Now, you guys remember one of the themes I said for today, for some, for about half of the problems we're going over today, um, one of the themes is how to sacrifice your stones, or how to best sacrifice stones. We have to give them up. I didn't hear that part. But, yeah. Didn't do that part? We gotta give these two up. Okay. Now how's the best way to give them up? What if we try this? We just say, I want a wall. 
lot of you guys are trying this. That's bad. Don't do that. <laughs> Disconnect. We have to prevent white from linking up, right? Then what's the problem? No problem? Happy? You got your wall. Kill white? Not kill white. It's really hard. Some of you, some of you got to this point where like, it's, that's it. Look, we got a wall where we killed white. Mm, but not kill white. White is actually surprisingly hard to kill in this situation. Well, yeah, but should we be trying to kill white? I mean, it seems to me that it was wrong to try to save the two white replies. Let's put it this way. If you don't kill white, white will kill you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe that I, yeah, I was thinking in terms of the white stones on the, on the bottom, that it would be wrong to try to think in terms of killing them. But were you saying that the problem is right there? Yeah, okay. Problem. Yeah, so, so after we did the last black move, then we're, yeah. The when you just took off, how can we do that one on the uh, 18, whatever it is? Uh -huh. I get, yeah, right, 18, 2, or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. So, so that doesn't solve it, or that doesn't complete the problem because we got to still deal with this isolated waste. Well, well, if we play here, now we have a whole new problem. A whole new problem? Yeah. Because white's going to come after us. And our wall, it's pretty strong, but if white gets to run out here, this cut starts to loom large. Yeah. Yeah, we got to that. You got to that part? Yeah. You played it out that far? Is that fun? Yeah. No. <laughs> no? So wouldn't it be nice if we could have solved our problems before we got to that point, hmm. and just made a perfect wall to begin with without this running white stone problem? Wouldn't that have been nice? Tom has that, that look in his eye. I played something that looked well better than what you just played at any rate, which right, was the it? cut first. This cut? Yeah. Very good. This cut is excellent. Oh yeah. That's what we kind of did. We're gonna give up not only these two stones, we're gonna give up an additional stone. We're gonna give up three stones. It's, it's like going over to White and say, I'm gonna make you an offer, you can't refuse. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. Okay, but now so Atari. You, you Atari by wedging. No, the other not, way. not that way. No. Not this way. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Good. This way. Very good. Yeah. You guys aren't but sleeping. And now, now, we get now, to now when you descend again, again it's sente. Now this descent is sente. Right before when we descended, White would get the next move and could attack us. In this case, White's too busy capturing our stone, our free yeah. stone we gave White. Remember that offer we, he can't refuse? Now it's our move. Now how do we... Make I can just sit on that stone space. You're done. <laughs> Super strong. Yes, white can come under here and reduce this, but none of our stones are in trouble. Everything super safe, super strong. Isn't that beautiful? Like, what's white going to do to us? So we could have just gone march straight down to the edge, but by playing this way, where white essentially pushes us up the board a little bit we're able to splash some of that battle over to the next. Not only splash the battle over onto this white stone, but get sente in the process. Yeah. Right? There's two key elements. We sacrifice one more stone, we get sente. And uh, by moving it over your right, we get to surround the stone with a very strong position. Right? The stone doesn't have a whole lot of room to maneuver anymore. Very cool. This position, this type of thing happens a lot, especially in Q games. Um, Stronger Dom players, don't, I mean, <laughs> don't put themselves in a position where <laughs> they get beat around so easily. Or at least try not to. Okay, but this is overwhelming for black. Furthermore, do you notice how white still has, these two stones still have two liberties? In this position, this move is gote, right? Black can't, doesn't really threaten anything. But later on, black will actually have sente follow-ups. So, by also forcing white to capture a stone here, rather than capturing these two stones here, you know, we still have the opportunity for us to play big moves later on. I know this one's Gote, but the follow-ups are in Sente, so it's, it's like Sente, sort of. It's like a little Sente. Sente-ish? Sente, it's, it's, it's like, even, actually, it's, what it really is, is an even bigger Gote. So it's, <laughs> it's like a super big Gote. Um. It's a gote with sente, so the gote is even bigger. <laughs> All right, isn't that cool? All right, give up the stone, run it out, surround it, cut it. Wham, bam. Not even close. Thank you, ma'am. All right, not even close. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I thought I saw that. I, I thought you guys were getting well, real close to it. We kind of, we, we kind didn't of, see what I, I, I kind of swear, I saw you guys yeah. came up with that. We, well, we did came, that. We, we came out with a variation where white got out. Oh. That was the <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. Over here. This one was, I think you guys did the best. Yes. So but first, let's hear from, from some other people. <laughs> some other people who didn't do it. So. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys try? Well, what did you so try? The issue is trying to hook up to those two stones that, over there, right? Uh, that's, I mean, well, that, everything be nice. All of black, I mean, everything for black is relatively safe. Yeah. It's not black who has the problem here. Who's the one who has the problem? No. I, th I thought the issue was to keep white from getting out. And then, if you had a chance, to pound down um, Okay. How, do, how, did you, how did you go about that? Well, we didn't get very far into it. What I, I tried was playing black right under the top white stone. Yeah, that's yeah. what we both tried. And then, okay, good. And then black cross cuts. Yeah. Yeah. White just captures. Yeah. That first. Uh, three. Yeah, I guess white's out. <laughs> What did Black gain from doing this? Absolutely. Nothing! <laughs> Black gained extraordinarily little, actually, in this variation so far. We gave white eye shape and a point. Okay, so that didn't work. So that's, that's, that was, you have to look at it. I mean, you're absolutely right to look at it. You're like, this connection looks awful weak. Let's try it, but it totally doesn't work. At least not yet. Well, there's the just bowling on through. There? Yeah. yeah. But then white, but then so white nice. connects up there. And yeah, we could peek. Yeah, but so what? I mean, I saw this, but this doesn't look that good either. White's out, and you didn't remove the eye at the bottom. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, I don't know what this stone gained us. This stone gains us the tiniest bit. It doesn't feel like we did anything. And it's almost easier for white to make more eyes, right? Because black can play something like this. And if we try to prevent white from running that way, white then has to suit you like this. All right, we can't quite cut this off because now we have that problem. <laughs> so, John and David, what did your group come up with? So we played 4-2. Just dive right in. 4-2? Threaten to take out the last game. That's yeah. not the movie you guys played. That's the movie played. That's the one that seemed to work the best. <laughs> yeah, that's tried that. Well, I tried this that. This is the move. <laughs> really? Yeah. I could have was like, that's dumb, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. So now this is the move. All right, I'm sorry. I, I thought I, I thought I saw you guys try this. Okay, so we now... We did, but we thought it didn't work. <laughs> yes, All right. Now I play 6, whatever, right next to it. Uh, this one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the white okay. captures on the bottom, but that's white okay. Captures on the bottom. Yeah, you get sealed in. Which I guess is that's good. Getting sealed in in Sente? Well, white doesn't have to connect there, right? It's one stone. Just make a second eye at the bottom. Um, well, then yeah. there's, there's this problem. Oh, ah, yeah, okay. But yeah. <laughs> this isn't an eye anymore? Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I guess that's okay. I guess this is okay. Okay for black, yeah. Black forces white to live with two points and cuts white off and gets thickness all on the outside, and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> this is pretty good, I guess. I guess that's pretty good. <laughs> I, uh, no, I need I, to I, more, I really more. need to play these out because I got to this far after white grips the stone and was like, oh, white's fine, and just moved on to trying something else. I guess that is actually still pretty good for black. So this is like my wife and I will be watching uh, Arrested Development. Again, right? Mm -hmm. This is like the line in the first episode. Do you guys not show Arrested Development? No. Yeah. Yes. yes. Right. Or, you know, Buster is on the boat, he's got the map, and yeah. he's like, I've had $8,000 for the cartography lessons. And I was like, well, hasn't all that stuff been, you know, already done by Columbus and Magellan? <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. They did, I guess they did a 
pretty good guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. White, white comes out on the second one. Here? Yeah. Oh, but we can cut them off easy. White safe. I, I, I don't. <laughs> you made one point. <laughs> Good. One point for white. Well, what, over was, here. What, was, uh, well, what was the point? Was what? Kill white or just what was the point? The seal in. Seal in. We're, we're, our seal stones, in first of all, black stones are much stronger now. Right? White's not cutting us off. I mean, white can still cut us off, but if he does. These two stones were disconnected, right? So we disconnected this stone from his friends. We have all the outside potential, and white is limited to about two, three points if you want it, John. If you want to call the second line, uh, that's all you, buddy. <laughs> so white is alive, Dan. Uh, white is alive. Okay. You can't kill white. Again, these are shape problems. These aren't, yeah. these aren't super. I just want to make sure, because you can take away one eye, but then white can, white can extend. Other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly right. White's alive. But, man, white pays. <laughs> White pays. And, uh, you know, especially if we get a big wall over here, and we cut off this over here, and we don't let white get strong with this group. Can you imagine, right, if we do all these things? Then white resigns. White's kind of kind of uppity and persnickety, and <laughs> yeah, we'll probably fight you a little more, but yeah, if we get all these, if we get all these problems, we're Especially after white had all of those extra moves. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, you started this board with extra stones on it. Uh, how is your mental level? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Try some more. You guys want to do four more? Okay, four more. Yeah. Okay. Sure. sure. Maybe I won't give you quite as long to try to play them out. Try to really focus your attention. Pick two you like and try to do two. All right, guys. Let's talk about these. These are these are a little trickier. Let's talk about them. Now. Okay. Let's do the top right one first. Ah, okay. David found a really awesome co that I helped him with. It's really awesome. I think we found it without a co. You can do even better than co. That's right. So you found an answer. We'll we'll go to that next. But first, I'm not telling you found an answer. Let's see if we can find the co here. Black goes there. What does white do? Comes down. Good. What does black do? Honey. Hi. This is different than the way we were playing. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're showing, we're showing a co. Okay. There's a co here. If black plays, this is the first move. It's actually a really cool problem as white. How does white make a co to save this group? So it's actually a problem for white. Yeah, yeah. So white plays there. And white gives up and goes home? No, it's honey. Here? Right here. There. There. Good. Black? One move. <laughs> oh. Uh the sound. Good. White. Atari. Here? No. Here? Here? Or here? There. There. And I don't think here. It's not I think we need to go this way for the cone. Uh, if you go here? What if black does this? Oh, uh, then you just give up. Okay. You give up, okay. <laughs> if we go here. This one's pretty neat. If black descends, how would they come? The Atari then? Yeah. Place. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there was oh, no. one. There. There's a co. Who saw that coming? Mm -hmm. Alright, black takes, it's co. Black can go out here. Still co. And <laughs> codes. What if black doesn't descend? Uh, where are we? Black can just take like this. Oh, well, now you already got a co. Right? You already got a co. And at any point. Actually, no, this isn't there yet, sorry. No, let's just the order. White, Atari, white, sorry, that sounds not there yet. There we go. How do we make co here? Uh, co. This co is advantageous for black. Black gets to take first. Co. Mike also has to book only win twice instead of three times, right? Um, one, two, three, yeah. 
Yeah, it's definitely advantageous for black. And not only that, black sort of has, is that a co-fret? Well, this goes to another co, so. <laughs> yeah, white, white, white's got some work to cut out to win this co, but this is a pretty huge co. I mean, we're talking about a lot, a lot of stones in a big corner, so big co. But that's not the problem, because we can do better than co. So how do we do for black? Yeah, for black, for black, yeah. not for white. Honey 17, on the 19 line. Yeah, there. Not good enough. Not good enough. White plays there. Well, actually, how about is uh, 17 to black? Oh, wait a minute. Oh. This looks really similar to one of the Indians. White, yeah. super happy and live, right? Yeah. No problems. Yeah. What we were following was, was black um, <laughs> doubling the, the single stone, playing 16 2. What? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, what happens if white plays here? That's I'm, the most complicated. That's the most complicated. Yeah. But I think we got them. You got it? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? No, maybe we can. was 18 Can you? Tom, what's your idea? No, sorry, I was looking at a different first move, so I don't have a good idea for this. Yeah, 18 3, this... I don't think is good. No. I don't play there, right? Yeah. I don't think this is good. And it's a problem. It's a problem. Black will never get to approach over here, right? This is white's liberty. Black connects. White descends and black's out of liberty. No liberties. No liberties. We're in blackout. Doesn't matter, John. Same number of liberties. So if we. Instead of 17 to 1. Yeah, you want to play there? Yeah. Doesn't matter. The liberty counts the same. Okay. <laughs> Connect. Yeah. Same. So. I don't know if it's good enough for shape problems class, but I notice you can do basically the same thing that we did in the uh, end game workshop, right? You can just go 17-3 and white. Yes. No, it's 17-2. You could do that too. I mean, well, this is this is what we just did though with the code. Oh, you I, I thought you went up first. No, I was so went, no. Was that? Well, we went through that. Co. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's if you're trying to save the stones. I was just looking at linking up underneath. Just play 19. Like you, you sure you play the Hana at 18 2 and white takes a liberty and then you play. Oh, 19. play this? Yeah. Yeah, but we could kill. Oh, okay. Well, we then it's kill everything. playing end game, so, okay. <laughs> Not end game. Actually, killing is good end game, it turns out. Yes. <laughs> what, about, what about that uh, 17 2? This yeah. is a very nice looking move. And this is also a shape point. What shape point is this? Three stones. Yeah, three stones and a jump away from three stones. Key point. All right, what do you want to try, White? Remember this move that didn't quite work before? Yeah. Here it totally works. Because what's oh, Black's to Suji? 18, three. White can't the wedge. push yeah. Now, can White capture this stone it... here? Nope, no. No. It's off Atari. So White has to play this. But is that is white. This is connect. And white is this? not going to do anything. It's a matter of being connected. Is there a reason to play that? Oh, just for style. <laughs> 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 does that remove a co or anything? It actually, it, well, it actually does remove an extra liberty from the inside. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you could have had two liberties on the inside. Sure. But white, I mean, black has. But it doesn't matter anyway. Because black is still position, right? so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But I'm, but yeah, yeah. Maybe. In another position, it might. Well, yeah. <laughs> so it's actually really not that hard of a problem once you can find or just trust yourself. Hey, play the shape point. See what happens. Let's try a different sequence for white. Okay. Let's try this one. Well, now you have to connect. Good. Now what white? Now he just has two liberties to your four. Yeah, that's bad news. <laughs> so, not going to go well. Let's try so anyway. 18-2, I guess. Yeah, you have to go there, right? That's, yeah, yeah. If you're reading, this is what, this stuff you have to read, right? Mentally yeah. on the board. Okay, so now Black's going to target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Really easy. Connect. Yep, yeah. and on it, top. There you go. No time for white. Two yeah, liberties, even if, two liberties. Even if he plays 19-2, because he's feeling right, clever, you got the he's still enough time to connect, right? Maybe that you just connect it the, the there, yeah. Yeah, we got that. There you go. Easy? Yep, slightly different route. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Let's do 
this one. This one, I think almost everyone looked at it. Everyone <laughs> decided to give up on it. <laughs> well, let's do a little meta-analysis here. What's the situation? Black is split. Black has these two groups. Not only is black split here from here, how is this group from this group? Not good. There's a Not great really either. bad cut. Yeah, there's yeah. a cut here that makes black cry. Uh, no one, no one found the move to make the whole thing work. I'm not surprised. It's a, it's a hard move to find. But this is the type of thing you have to be thinking about during your own games. Uh, it's, it's. Um, you guys might have heard of a leaning attack. This is a little bit like a leaning attack type of tsushi. Move we're gonna play. Fourteen four. Fourteen four. Well, no. Fourteen five. Nope. Oh, from the bottom. Or, 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 sorry, no, 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 uh, four. four. Yeah, no, I, yeah, oh, oh, okay. no, 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 no
how do you bust them up? But you didn't bust them up. It's, essentially, it looks like what you're doing is crushing them. Well, so I need a bite when you can eat the whole meal, John. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not too much. As long as it's not too much, and it comes back and gives you the gesture. Yeah, yes. Yes, yes. And then go. Okay. So step, so. step on the top of one, it's still small. Step with having a white business in the chair. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, here it is. Step on the top of one. What? <laughs> I was just quoting John. Well, this is stoves, the two stoves at the bottom, you crush them, but you got to do it before they get run away. <laughs> this is a very common situation, right? Your opponent leaves a weakness. Everything is safe, right? You can't kill anything. But just by shorting your opponent's liberties, it takes away from your problem. Now, here's the thing. Well, I could say, I see what you're up to. I'm not going to let you short the liberties on the scoop. I'm going to go this way. I like But so you run. Oh, yes. But now, what's the problem here for white? He just lattered his own stone. Well, or you can just do that. Yeah, white's not actually that strong. Yeah, white's, white's now the one in trouble. Oh, there are some fighting responses here that I should probably look at more carefully before I play a variation like this. It looks like it's sort of ladder dependent, but. Yeah. All right, well, not worry about it. But there's, there's, there's a lot of Aji there. If white wants to play this way, you go, good for you. Anytime you want, you got a ton of free moves in here. So, you know, you can go back to the problem at hand. But you have to ask white first. The important thing is you have to ask white. Say, do you want to be strong or do you want to be weak? And if white says, I want to be strong, and then you say, I'm going to be strong too. <laughs> Okay, if white says, you want to be weak, then we're both weak, and then we fight. Mm -hmm. Okay, because this is a very dangerous position for white to be in. A lot of Uh Actually, I think, is this a move? Well, I don't think good enough right there, but there's still a cut. It's, it's complicated. Okay. Anyway, cool move, just cut. And follow up is very important to send, gain the extra liberty, right? It forces white to play an extra move. This was something we did last week too, right? We played an extra move just to gain next force white to kill an extra liberty of ours. We gain a free move this way. We threw up an extra stone. All right, so it's all about giving up stones. All right, let's go down here to this one. Black to play. Some of you guys got a little too creative with this one. I saw you guys start playing yeah, 20, yeah. 30 move variations off of this problem. That was very exciting, but I'm giving you 20 to 30 move read ahead problems, so. See these two stones? Yeah. Black would like them dead. Is that the problem? <laughs> <laughs> well, if white kills these, you just want to... black's corner's not alive, yeah. and you see all this white influence, yeah, yeah. this is going to turn into 30, 40, 50 white points pretty easily. So, we would very much not like to die in the corner while giving our opponent 50 points. That would be very helpful to our go game skills. I think you guys agree. So we try. We try this. Yeah. Not even. Yeah, this is. That's a sure that doesn't work. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> These two stones are dead. Not enough liberties, right? You go. Aha! I know a fancy Tsuji. Oh, whoops! Doesn't work. I can just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. What else did you try? Straight out. Descend, right? You're like, hey, I'll just kill him. That kills him, right? Three liberties, two liberties. I win. Two stones. Maybe. White wants to ask, do you really win? <laughs> sure. You say, stones. yes, I really win. Do you really win? Two stones. Yes, I really do, in fact, win. That was the problem, right? And White says, good job. You won. You killed two stones. Remember that 50 point territory you're trying to prevent? What? That just magically appeared. And not only that, I have Sente. 50 points, you say, why not go for 60? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, how did that work out for you? <laughs> you got two points. You got the four points, yeah. Four points. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two, yeah. two stones. <laughs> two stones. Well, what if we Hane? Hane? 
Yeah, and then... Honey? No, no, no. Where's honey? No, not... Okay. What if we do a play a diagonal Two. there? Good. This is a very nice move. This is a very nice move. Can white do this? Well, yeah, yeah. but then we can act. And now white has three, and we have one, two, three. And it's already it's white's turn. Oh, it's white's turn now. It is white's but, turn, but... we but, can move up. But we can get out. So we can actually gain a liberty. So yes. black actually wins this. I know Tom and Matt stared at this for way too long. <laughs> They're like this. Yeah, that doesn't really change anything. It doesn't change the effect anything. Right. But, but, but now we extend. But yeah, no, if black, yeah. if black goes long, white can't just haunt again because he has to Yeah, points. right. So now white has to extend. We gain the liberty. We get the play. So now I make white kind of sad. So instead, white has to play this way. We just connect. Yeah, white goes on top. White what if we squeeze them? Well, if there's this player, yeah. white can even play this. And we take, and white's like, what did you get? And you're like, I got four points. It's and white's like super happy because look at all this giant influence, but what's the difference? White has there's a giant defect right here. Your opponent's large areas are a lot easier to invade if they have defects. It turns out way easier to invade. Significantly easier. So how would so we invade? if white fixes right now, okay. black says, okay, that was good. I have sente. Who had sente in the last example? White. white. So this, this one little move here, actually throws off white's walls enough to create a defect, which white can either fix and give you sente, right? Or leaves a defect for your invasion later on. And how would you use your sente? As black? Yes. Do any of these other problems over here. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, I don't know, still on the stone there, probably, maybe first thing. Okay, last problem. And let me get these stones off. Actually, actually, actually well, oh, but we're, we're, we're black has just taken the white. Just, yeah, run, run, run it out again. Like, I'm looking at it. Black, white, black. I get white. Let me do black. Okay, so white jumps in. But Jumps in? What, what do you mean? Well, you had, you had the... I, I get, what's, what's what's the next move here? For white? Yeah. Uh, any of these other problems? I get what you're just saying. Like that, basically, that. Immediately, immediately take care of the cut. In this, in this case, probably because there's too many more. There's look, there's four go problems on the board. Every one of them is super important. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, see, what I'm thinking is that if you're playing this as it is, mm -hmm. uh, if, 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 if white canookies and white jumps in on a cut and it's a ladder. Yeah, right now the ladder is good for white. Right, so. Oh, oh yeah, no, sorry, yeah, I'm color reversal here. Yeah, never mind. Okay. okay. And the next problem is. <laughs> so, what, white, white can Tanuki. Okay, but you still create that defect. Later on, right? You get yeah. that move for free, whatever you want. That's yeah. a great move, right? That'll help you reduce, invade, whatever. Okay. Okay. Cool. Last problem. This is a really cool problem, and I want to put it up here. No one, I don't think, even attempted it. <laughs> Basically, you have three stones that are. Dead. <laughs> That's what we decided. The problem is do something. I was gonna show you the book answer because this is cool. And it's and it's and once you start thinking about how your stones work on the board and how your stones um, can interact and you can play off each other, you start to see some really cool ideas developing your own games. Do uh, you see this one stone right here? Yes. Why? likes the stone a lot. White would really not want the stone to die, right? If black were to kill this, you know, white would be super sad. Black would be the stronger person in this neighborhood, right? Can you just imagine without the stone there? However, if we attack this stone directly, what's the problem? Can't actually stone it. White is just Yeah, whatever, whatever problem you create for white right now, white is gonna fix it, right? Just so cool. So we have to find a way to indirectly make this stone feel uncomfortable. And it'd be nice if we could make it feel uncomfortable while doing something very severe 
somewhere else. We have to find a dual purpose move. I'll give you five what seconds. Do I stand to huh? seven, two, three, seven, three. Seven, three? Now, what if we do this? This is, this is a pretty nice move. This is pretty nice. All right, I think white will still just play there. Can't go there, right? Yeah. I mean, you could, but it's a problem. So you managed to get two weak stones up. You did, but you're still not alive yet. Yeah. Did you even the ball? <laughs> and remember how white was going to make 50 points here? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to be conservative. Although you did get some compensation. Uh, where is this? I mean, your stones were weak, so you can't get too greedy. Can't get too greedy. This is correct, Brian. But we have to do. We have to do something about this, right? This is turning into a very big white area. What if you pull out? The other stone, play an uh, extent to five, no, 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 the, the one on the farthest left. You threaten the ladder. Yeah. Now, all of your stones are worse and whites are better. <laughs> well, now is, it, is when, so you that up, now is when you go and keep it that cut and then you make uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> So what if you give that But white, now all of this is just white. What if you play uh, six, two to give that guy more liberty? Same thing. That doesn't help. You are correct. Doesn't really help. All right, you guys ready for the cool move? Yeah. Three, three. Who <laughs> <laughs> play there? Oh, it still threatens a ladder. Threatens a lot of things, actually. But yeah. I don't know. So now why did Tari's That doesn't threaten a ladder. Yeah, it does. Why did Tari's your Well, six? I mean, it, it, it's, it breaks, but I mean, it, it's got momentum behind it, let's say. That. It's got sure, momentum. Okay. It's about to set up a ladder. It threatens so, to set up a ladder. So I just, it threatens to play another move that threatens this, yeah. to set up a ladder, right? So yes. White's got to take care of that, and Tari's the stone on at 73. That's yeah. fine. Black goes here. That's good. And now, this stone's getting eaten. Who thought black would get to eat something here? If white wants to save this stone, white's like, I don't know where, I don't want to get eaten. Well, black now has moves like this. Yes. Right? White can't actually come down here. We still come out. These two stones are still in trouble, but now we can link up and then threaten these two and Sente whenever we want to. White's very busy on both sides here. All right, we've effectively split white and made white not quite on the run for the entire game, but certainly giving white a lot to think about. Right? If we want to run over here, well, now we have moves like this that are Sente. Seems like those three we can even play that. That might even be better. Yeah, it seems like those three white stones are so weak and the corners get pressed that maybe it's imperative for white to do seven two. You think white does this right now? Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Again, I'm I'm trying to be conscious of this area, right? I'm trying to lean on white while reducing the fifty point center. Okay. And there's a lot of different ways it could play out. Okay, there's just a lot of different ways it, this could play out. Um, you know, it's, it's go, it's complicated. But, you know, the cool part about here is we have two stones that are basically trash. How can we use them to help this out? Right? This is the most severe move we can do against any single stone on the board, right? Play something up right up against it. It's as severe as we go, as we can do. And if white responds, now we're talking. Now I get a Panuki. Panuki's really good shape if white doesn't respond, right? Now we get turtle shell Panuki. Still better respond. Uh, we have several options here depending on 
what the overall situation is like. Um, I might even just consider connecting, quite frankly. One at a time before you, if you want to connect one at a time first. Um, good. Because if I get to Hana here, um. right, if white doesn't play this move next, I'm going to go there. And if white now runs this way, then now I can go here. And now, you know, white's got a shape problem over here. I know black got two moves in a row. But then we have this move. Right? I'm making shape all over the place. So just because it's Atari doesn't mean you want to take it right away. You have to have a plan. What is that Atari going to get you? And yes, if you really want to just split white, if that was exactly all you needed, then yes, you could do that. But there might be a better way um, to ensure your safety by getting out first and pressuring these two white stones. It's a, it's, a, it's a feeling of fighting. It's a feeling of tempo. It takes time and reading to develop. But... You know, all of that will improve as you play more go. The, the suji here, or again the idea, is really just trying to find these attachments that will set up things in two directions, right? We're threatening to run this stone into our new stone, which gives us lots of free moves. This is called a driving to suji. There's actually a name for this. Because it was threatening to take this one really important cutting stone and drive it into the stone we just played while that stone is doing something else over here. It's pretty cool. So it has threats in two directions. Yeah. And it's just a simple attachment. Just throw a stone in there. It does a lot of, a lot of cool things. Okay, we're going to end there. I think uh, we had a good session. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right. And uh, I'll see you next week.